There's quite a bit to take away from the New York Comic Con of like Fairy Tale with Hiro Mashima now arriving there, and he's given his interviews, he's given all this stuff there, and there's been some good and some bad in there. But one of the things I wanted to point out actually, because this is really interesting stuff that he's pointed out and sketched the people. Like a lot of people actually have these like designs that he's actually made for them. And it's of two specific characters that have kind of been confirmed by Hero. And that is, like, for the one person, uh, mainly being Natsu and Lucy's child and Grey and Judy is not. So we know for, like, what we get to see and all that for Natsu and Lucy's ch uh, child, and what they do confirm, like, this is a girl. This is, like, the Nashi that people have been kind of, like, calling it uh, for a while. And also, as well, I believe there was also another uh, name as well that was running around for a while. It's, like, Nashi or Luna. Like, um, they're sort of referring this character to. Um, as and one that was also very surprising is Grey and Julia. We do get to see they have a little boy and apparently he does have the blue hair and he does have kind of the same eyes as like Julia and like kind of acts the same as Grey. But these are few some of the things that we're getting off from like uh, kind of these like sketches and what like people have said and all that. Maybe like what Matthew must have just said to them off like you know when you get like signing off their books and everything. And it's like okay, so we got an official comp like confirmation on this and I thought that was nice. I would like this to be in the main story though and there have been some stuff talking about recently whether or not there's going to be a sequel whether or not there's going to be like talking about what's going to be the next thing and he has talked before that like that he wants to do other stuff with fairy tale in the future that you know he maybe he might want to do another spin-off or something like that so I don't I think this is going to be like not the only time that we're going to see them in just rough draft forms I think potentially that we could actually see these characters somewhere in the future whether or not that'll be a long time and all that or personally if i'm gonna be uh, practically honest i would like this to like what they did with rave master rave master's like last volume kind of had this little bonus thing in the back where it was like it showed haru's and ellie's kid at the end and it was like that's really nice i kind of want to see something like that for fairy tale if you're gonna do that and that for a little bonus i know a couple of like series actually do that so that would really be nice but i want to see what you guys this quick video and all that I kind of want to see what you guys thought in the comments down below and all that, because uh, we normally get to see that with a couple of main characters and all that, see like who they finally end up with, and I feel like this was the one that was kind of screamed about by most people and all that, like, yeah, you got the pairings, you got all the canon, like, stuff from there, and it's like, no, we actually get to see their children from this, and uh, people are saying, is this the signs of the, you know, fair, like, fairy tale like, sequel, like, that some people want, personally, I don't think so, I think, like, fairy tale's just, like, it, like, you know, like, I don't think it needs a sequel or continuation. Like, if there's something like, what, if Raymaster it, it lives in the same universe, I'd be fine with that. But, like, maybe if, like, if anything, I could expect, maybe, like, a spin-off or something there. Like, maybe, like, a tech, like, how Fairy Tale Zero was. Like, a volume two volume or something of them, like, just going around doing their quests and stuff. I'd be fine with that. So, thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.